हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज हॉरिजॉन्टल वर्सेस वर्टिकल माइक्रो इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट माइक्रो प्रोग्राम कंट्रोल यूनिट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू टाइप्स बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो इंस्ट्रक्शन और कंट्रोल वर्ड फॉर्मेट स्टोर्ड इन द कंट्रोल मेमोरी वी हैव टू फॉर्मेट्स हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस दिस टू फॉर्मेट्स in details with their comparison let us start welcome to our channel engineering and technology for you if you are not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe and press the bell icon the topic for today is horizontal versus vertical micro instruction format let us start with the introduction now in the last video we have discussed the micro program control terminology and the basic concepts we already know that we have two types of micro instruction or control word stored in the control memory horizontal microprogram control unit and vertical microprogram control unit now these two we are going to discuss in horizontal microprogram control unit the control signals are represented in the decoded binary format that is uh, each bit represents a control signal so if there are n control signals we will require n bit for encoding them whereas in the vertical microprogram control unit the control signals are represented in the encoded binary format so we have just few bits which will represent the control signals and that's why here n control signals require log to n bit encoding that means only few bits are required and we need hardware like decoder to decode these bits into the control signal let us see the horizontal micro instruction format in detail now this format of the micro instruction or what we call it as the control word here you can see one bit for each internal process processor control line to so cpu control lines so here now this is shown quite wide because there can be around 100 control signals of the internal cpu so this bit is quite wide and as the the n signals will need n bits so depending on the number of control signals this bit will be a high then after this we have one bit for each system bus control line and then we have the jump condition and this jump condition that will be for branching so here there is a field with address of micro instruction to be executed next that is the next field the jump field we have different conditions like unconditional zero overflow indirect bit so depending on these conditions the micro instruction address will change and if there is no jump this bit is zero then it will go to the next address so this is the horizontal micro instruction form then let us go into the how we interpret this 
say to execute the macro instruction we have to turn all the control lines on which are indicated by one bit so those control lines which are indicated by one bit they are turned on and the lines which are indicated by zero bit they are kept off so the resulting control signals will cause one or more micro operations to be performed see the control signals depending on the control signals these are nothing but the bits of ones and zeros and the micro operations will be performed depending on this control signal then if the condition indicated by the condition bit is false then we'll execute the next micro instruction in sequence and if it is true then the next micro instruction to be executed is indicated in the address field so and it will depend on the condition whether it is a zero overflow or even without condition also it is unconditional so if there is a jump accordingly we will have to set this address in the address field so this is how the horizontal micro instruction will be interpreted then let us see the vertical micro instruction in vertical micro instruction a code is used for each action to be performed and a decoder translates this code into the individual control signal so here you can see here we have the function codes so three bits are shown for the functional code so if there are three bits here we need a three to eight decoder so depending on the number of functional codes we will need the decoder if there are a six bits here then we will need six to sixty four decoder and this will depend on the number of control lines we want to control then after this we have the jump condition similar to the horizontal micro instruction and then we have the micro instruction address so compared to horizontal here the advantage is that they are more compact because the number of bits are very less but there is a additional we have to uh, small additional expense at the cost of uh, the decoder and there will be slightly time delay that means it will be slower compared to the horizontal micro because this part the functional codes they are to be decoded into the a control signal so that will be done by the help of decoder then let us go to the comparison of these two types of microprogram units horizontal and vertical so the first point is it supports longer control word wide memory word it is what as per the format we have seen the control word is longer and here so the uh, memory word is also long wide whereas in case of vertical it is narrow then here uh, the n control signals are encoded into n bits whereas in this case we are decoding the n control signals into log to n bits so as we have said if the num value of n if it is 8 then if you take log 2 of 8 it will be 3 similarly if it is 64 then 
log to base 2 will be 6. So the number of bits will be very less compared to the horizontal. Then horizontal microprogram unit. It has high degree of parallel operation. That means uh, at the same time we can have a uh, micro operations running parallel. Whereas because here the each control signal will have a separate encoding. Whereas here it will not be possible because we are making use of the function codes and then the decoder. So that will parallelism will not be possible. Then here no additional hardware is required. Whereas in this case we will need additional hardware in the form of decoders to generate the control signal. Then this is uh, fast compared to the vertical because here the time delay will be added because of the uh, hardware decoder particular. Then uh, here control word bits are not fully utilized. Here all the lines we are trying to use control lines or control signals they are being used but then the all bits of the control word or the micro instruction they are not utilized as here the width is very large maybe 100 or more than say 100 whereas here the control words they are in the encoded form and they are used fully. So let us take example on number of bits. Suppose an instruction set architecture of a general purpose machine has a total of 126 control signals. Then we have to find out the number of bits required in control word for horizontal and vertical micro instruction encoding. So here this is a multiple choice and you have to choose any one from these four. So A is 126,7, B is 128,7, C is 7,128 and D is 126,8. So if you want to do this you will have to do the calculation. Now for horizontal encoding, we know that one bit is used for each control signal. So if there are n number of control signals, we will need n number of bits. So here in this case, the number of control signals are 126. So we need 126 bits. Then for vertical encoding, n control signals are encoded into log of say n to the base 2 bits. So 126 control signals will be encoded with say log of 126 to the base 2. So that is nothing but 7 bits because 2 raised to 7 is 128. So that's why here 2 for encoding of 126 control signals will need 7 bits. So the answer, correct answer is A, that is 126, so just to make it clear how to calculate the number of bits. So as you can see, the number of bits for horizontal it is 126 bits whereas for vertical it is just 7 bits so this is having a quite wide length whereas this is narrow length 7 bits so with this we come to the end of this video if you have any queries you can contact me on facebook twitter gmail or instagram
then if you like the video press the like button share with your friends with the help of this icon on which is available on the youtube and then subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon because this is important unless and until you press the bell icon you will not get notifications from youtube so thanks for watching have a nice day